This is example 7.3. Example 7.3 reads, the biceps muscle exerts a force of 800 newtons that would flex the elbow, its elbow flexion moment arm is 4 centimeters, but it is opposed by a tricep muscle force with an extension moment arm of 2.5 centimeters. Find the triceps force if we neglect the effects of all other forces and assume static equilibrium. So this problem is dealing with moments. We know that the bicep and the tricep are exerting opposing forces on the arm and causing it to be static. Static means there's no movement. This is a key piece of information in this problem. Because of this, we know that the moment of the bicep will equal the moment of the tricep. And we know that the equation for moment is force times distance. So it wants us to solve for the tricep force. If we can solve for the bicep moment and we know the moment arm, we can solve for the tricep force. So let's first solve for the moment of the bicep. We know that it exerts a force of 800 newtons at a moment arm of 4 centimeters. Because we're given the other moment arm from the tricep in centimeters, we don't have to change it to meters here. We will plug this into our calculator. We find the moment to be 3,200 newton meters. Now we know that the moment of the bicep is equal to the moment of the tricep. So when we try and solve for moment of the tricep, we can fill this number in for moment. We know that the tricep's moment arm is 2.5 centimeters and we're looking for the force. So we will divide both sides by 2.5 centimeters plug this into our calculator we find that the force from the tricep equals 1,280 newtons. This is example 7.3.